Well, today we have a Crossroads Zinger. It is a 328 SB, probably the most popular floor plan uh, that Zinger has, at least on my lot. It is prepped with uh, solar here, ready to, to jump right on in. There is uh, in the pass-through, way on the backside, a little cutout prep as well, so you can definitely use that. Does have a power tongue jack. It does have power stabilizers. Nice solid step entry. I'm actually gonna zip on past that. Nice big awning, LED lights underneath, exterior speakers. Huge outdoor kitchen. Does have uh, water access in here. And of course, uh, your two burner stove. Closes up and slides right away. Nice big fridge. Little access port in here, you can kind of see uh, how they get everything going together. This makes a nice little roof. And then of course, when you close it up, it's out of the way. Looks like this one uh, has a ladder on the rear. They have had a big problem getting those things lately. So the fact that we've got a ladder on this one kind of speaks wonders. Exterior shower, prep for backup camera. And then of course, this side is uh, a bunch of slide outs. I am gonna zip back on inside. There is an access port back here. So we will go see what that leads to on the interior. Weight on this one is upside down, but you're a little over 8,000, almost 8,100 pounds. All right, so when you first walk in, you've got your couch, your booth dinette, across from the kitchen, of course, over here. And then uh, back to the door. This is the convenience center. Pretty much everything you need to do right there, lights, all that good stuff. And then uh, gonna spin you around to the entertainment center. We've been ordering these in without TVs. TVs are rather expensive when we get them from the factory, so uh, we've been uh, getting them in without. And if it comes down to a television, we will definitely see what we can do to get you one. This is another one that has the inverter prep, so you do have those yellow stickers on these outlets signifying which ones are uh, hooked up to that system. Nice big underbed storage. Nice little shock there to hold it up. There is uh, a few odds and ends. There's a valance up here, a little piece of trim hanging down there. Nothing too terrible. Pretty uh, par for the course when they're coming in. Here's a closer look at that yellow sticker. Nice deep storage. Again, they do a pretty good job with uh, blue lighting in these. So you do get a little black back glow, excuse me. And then uh, this right here, it's kind of a nifty feature. Pops right up. You can shove stuff down below so you don't have to half crank the, the fold up couch. So you can get right in there. Got to put that down or you guys don't know it moves. All right, moving right along. This is the u-shaped dinette kind of an interesting way of holding the table up it seems to do uh pretty good stays out of everyone's way gives you more leg room nice and bright three lights up top does its job spinning right around into the kitchen more blue lighting underneath that countertop right there kind of getting you into the storage compartment areas here Plenty of uh, space, a goodie bag right there, and then your, your pull-out drawers. Pretty straightforward. If you guys are interested, it is a dual well sink. Of course, you do have these nice covers on here. Looks like your keys are down below, and uh, the faucet does come out and turn into a sprayer. This uh, was the wiring I spoke of that's on the other side, along with uh, the inverter prep. So if you guys would like to at any time, you can always add it. Still rocking the 12 volt fridge, so you get a lot more space, a lot more efficiency. And then uh, moving to the back here. Probably use this from a pantry storage standpoint, but you know, every family's different. Spinning right on into the bathroom. And that is where that second door ends up, so. 
pretty easy access keep the mud and the gunk from the kids uh, from walking through the whole thing my favorite light switches and then a bunch of storage so there's a little gap over there on this angle shower and over there the same and these open up real nice and big so there is plenty of space to do uh, your cleaning business in here I like the fact that the fan is above the shower so you can get the humidity out simple little touch but one of those things in my book that goes a long way this top bed of course flips up I don't have two hands right now to hold it but nice big couch down here Pulls down into a bed, of course. There is a trundle mattress underneath, so if you want to pull that out, you can definitely have someone sleeping on the floor. This is essentially a smooth transition, so you're not worried about a bump in the back. This one's nice because it has an exterior or a rear bed, and then uh, of course, of course, over on this side, you've got this top bed over the uh, exterior kitchen. Again, some more storage space, a little vent in there, little cubbies whole nine yards if you missed it on the way in because I didn't show it we do have a sliding door back here so it will make it uh, a little more private for the kiddos and that is the zinger 328 SB as is always questions comments concerns just let me know thanks